Welcome back. Well, Wisconsin dairy farms remain an essential business for healthy foods and for our economy. So what are some of the challenges they faced in recent months during the pandemic? Let's go back out to live to Molly at Rosie Lane Holstein Farm near Watertown to find out. Hey, Mall. Hey, Tiff, it's such a great question that you asked. As I mentioned, they're making hay today, so you might hear some trucks passing by, but it's obviously a working farm, a lot going on here. Joining me now is Daphne Holterman. She's an owner partner here at Rosie Lane. She actually was born on a farm just two counties from here. So Daphne, I think it's so fair to say this is a way of life for you. Farming is just in my blood. I never thought I would be a full-time farmer. I thought I'd be working in an ad agency in downtown Chicago, but here I am farming um, for almost 40 years and I love it every day. It's amazing. How do you feel that farmers have risen to the challenge, especially during the past couple of months, to feed people? We're in challenging times and I think farmers have been right on the front lines of answering the call of providing nutrition to families and children that really need it. So they haven't asked, well, should I do something or what can I do? They just go and do it. So I've seen so many creative ways of farmers coming together with their dairy processors taking cheese, milk, butter, whatever it is, and getting it to families that need it. So they've, they've been there, and right now we're just right on the front lines. How is cheese made? I think a lot of people are interested in the process of it. Mm -hmm. Well, the milk leaves our farm every day in a semi-tanker. It's unloaded at a cheese plant not far from here, and we make lots of cheese from it, and it can be made into many different kinds of cheese. And um, I'm not a cheese expert. They have cheese makers that have to go to school and be licensed to produce cheese in Wisconsin. And then it's packaged and sent um, all around the country. So uh, d dairy foods are, are part of a balanced diet. Nutritionists say that all the time. How is it that you as farmers, as owners and operators here, encourage people to eat more dairy products? Well, of course, we want people to eat more cheese drink more milk, more yogurt. There are so many choices of dairy foods out there today. They're all very nutritious, very delicious. So Lloyd was talking about the coffee yogurt. I love key lime yogurt. There's all kinds of milk products. I drink a lot more kefir. Um, there's all different kinds of milks and flavors. So you just have to try something new. So I would challenge all of your listeners and viewers to try new dairy food each week. And that's a great way to support Wisconsin dairy farmers and uh, try new foods um, all the time. It's just good for you and make new recipes. So and there's delicious. lots of good things. Yeah, delicious too. I'm glad you mentioned the fermented foods. I think that's so much more popular now. And one of the things I didn't realize until today, and I knew you were making hay, that hay is actually fermented. Um, Lloyd was saying that it's made up of about four different ingredients. So he said it, he called it a casserole. It's like a hay casserole. Right, we feed TMR ration, we call it, to our cows, and even the calves get that kind of feed as well, except for when they're very young and babies. So we love to um, have the right kind of food for the cows. It's nutrition that's balanced just like a super athlete so they can produce the most milk that's very delicious and nutritious for customers. I can't get over the, the entire process here. So I know all the cows behind us um, are pregnant. They're going to be giving birth in the next 60 days. But they're, they're, they're moved to different places where they take a shower, for example. And then once a calf is born, that, that goes somewhere else so that it can be cared for. But you do a lot to interact with the cows so that they have a certain temperament and that they're used to being around people, right? Right, we start when they're even just hours old, working with the baby calf, handling them. They get to know that people bring them food. We're very comfortable when working with our animals. Our people are trained, and we want to have just calm, quiet movements around the cows and work with the cow and help them lead the way, and we just kind of follow, make sure they go where they're supposed to go. Since you, you've been in farming all your life, I'd love to know what your favorite job is on the farm. Oh, my favorite job is taking care of the baby calves when they're young. If you feed them and take care of them just right, give them lots of TLC, they'll respond and grow into a mature milking cow that produces delicious, nutritious milk. I also appreciate the fact that I know you grew up on a beef and hog farm. You're now on a dairy farm. Are there a lot of simu similarities or are things really different depending on what you produce? Oh, I think the basics are all the same on every livestock farm. You care for the animals day in and day out, 24 seven, it never stops. Your whole life revolves around taking care of the animals and doing what they need, building the right facilities to make sure everything makes it easy for them. And we want to make sure that animals doing, feeling its very best all the time, then it performs the best for you. What's your best suggestion for, for those of us who want to support our local economy, our local farmers? Uh, you invite people to ask questions about the food that they eat and to get to know a farmer, or at least go on and find out the origins of farms and where our food comes from. 
Right, you need to ask a real farmer. If you ever have questions about where your food comes from, you can find them on the internet. We're on Facebook, our farm, Rosie Lane. We have a website, and most farms I know of um, that are having some kind of presence there, and you can ask a real farmer. You get involved in your local community. There's someone on the Chamber of Commerce or in the group you're involved in. So ask a real farmer, and if you ask one question of 10 farms, my guess is you'll get 10 different answers because diversity drives Wisconsin farms, and not just dairy farms, but all kinds of farms. We're out there. You can shop at your grocery store, your cheese store, your farmer's markets, or your ice cream parlor, and you can all get delicious dairy foods and try new flavors. You're an amazing spokesperson for dairy farming. Thank you so much, Daphne. We have loved being here at Rosie Lane. Thank you. We'd love to have visitors anytime in the future. We'd love to have people. That's fantastic. Tiff, I'll leave you maybe with one more joke. When can a, ta a cow turn milk into cheese? Mmm, I don't know. When it's your churn. <laughs>